Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, we are going to do the modeling of this particular uh, model. So as you can see here, we also have a drawing here. So this is a drawing for that uh, particular model. And uh, you can see all the dimensions are given in mm. And also there is a section view, which is a BB or taken over here. And this section view is, uh, you know, uh, details are provided over here. Okay, so we can start, uh, you know, making a model on this. So I'll just go to file and new file here. And I'll just keep uh, the name as it is and I'll just click OK. <clears throat> so this is our, you know, uh, 3D work coordinate system. So I'll just go to sketcher in a moment. And here is a sketch. And now as you can see here, uh, so what I will do is I will just create a profile here. So this profile I'm going to create and I will extrude it up to 38 mm and then uh, whatever the extra material we have here. So this extra material we are going to remove it and then uh, we can create a, a holes that are there. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to sketcher and here I'm going to draw this uh, whatever particular uh, you know profile. So let me draw this profile. So I'll just go to line here and draw a line and here there is a one more line and here this is the line take a profile and draw this so whatever the dimensions that are coming uh, those are auto dimensions so we can just uh, hide them so i'll just trim this so now you can see here this is a complete profile we have and uh, i'll just close this and now uh, overall length we can see here uh, this is 120 mm so the overall length is given here so i'll just go to dimension and uh, give this overall length so this is 120 mm so now you can see here so okay and uh, we have multiple uh, you know angles here so this is 30 degree and here as well this is 30 degree and this is 10 degree so we can give this dimension press d for dimensioning and this is 30 degree and this is also 30 degree and this is 10 degree okay and also you can see here this is 11 mm and uh, this is 30 mm and 40 mm so we can give those dimensions as well so this between this to this it is 40 mm okay and this is 9 mm um, between these two this edge it is 30 mm okay and uh, now we have we can see here uh, from this edge it is uh, 4 mm and 67 mm so we can give from this edge to this edge it is 67 plus 4 okay and then what else is left so this dimension we are left with you can see here this is 8 mm so press d and give this as 8m so now you can see here sketch is fully constrained with one auto dimension so let us go to auto dimension here and see which one is not defined so you can see here this is not defined so this dimension is given as 11mm so i'm going to go to give it as 11mm okay so now you can see here our sketch is fully constrained and we can just finish the sketch okay so now what I'll do is I'll just extrude this as I previously mentioned. So I'm going to give it as 38 mm. So go to extrude and select this sketch and it should be symmetric value of 38 mm. Okay. I'll just click OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to top view and make this profile and we can remove the extra material. So go to sketch environment on this plane top plane okay and we can just click okay so now uh, i'm going to draw two lines here so sorry one line so this is the line and there is an arc here switch so start from here to again here okay so this point should lie on this uh, line and now these two points should be coincide each other so let me coincide these two and these two should be tangent to each other so give tangency between these two now uh, you can see here the distance here is 88 mm and the radius of 7 mm here so let me give this as a 7 mm and the distance between this point to 
this point that is 88 mm okay okay so now you can see here okay this point should lie on this uh, line so press c and uh, give this point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay now it is done so now sketch is fully constrained so i'm going to mirror this so go to mirror and select these two curves and this is my center line and mirror it so i'm going to close this uh, whatever the profile we have here okay it is closed and also i want to close it from outer side you can see once you try to give the profile and it is starting to select uh, an edge so it has to be from arc one so this is the arc so we are selecting it in the proper way and now we can give this and here as well no not an extrude edge so you can see here arc okay so now our sketch is with the three data dimension other dimensions are these so these are not necessary to give an exact uh, value because we are going to remove this material so whatever the dimension it is there just convert it into an uh, actual dimensions so now that's all we have the sketch is fully constrained so now i'll finish the sketch so this sketch whatever the profile we have we are going to remove the material so go to sketcher sorry extrude and select this sketch and now we have to give subtract and click ok so now as you can see here the sketch is removed ok now uh, we have some you know holes here so that we have to create so what i'll do is i'll just uh, go to create these two holes so these two holes are in the in this edge on this edge so i'm going to select this uh, sketch as a plane and we can go to sketcher environment so go to sketcher environment on this particular edge okay so this is x-axis and this is y-axis and click ok so we have two circles so what are those two circles so those circles are with a dimension of 12 mm and the distance between these two circles are 12 mm again and from the edge it is 11 mm and 18 mm so go to nx and this is 12 diameter and another diameter is over here and distance between these two will be 12 mm and let me make it symmetric so these two circles should be symmetric to this axis okay and now um, you can see here as soon as i give this here uh, the distance here is uh, you can see here this hole will be very near to this edge so it means whatever the 11 mm we have here it is from this edge so 18 mm is from this edge as well so we have to provide the angle uh, distance 18 for this and 11 for this so go to dimensions and between these to this it is 18 mm and between this to this it is 11 mm okay since it is a symmetric where it is not going to work so we'll just remove the symmetric okay and you can give the dimension between these two this edge it is 6 mm okay now sketch is fully constrained and we can just finish the sketch so whatever the profile that we have created i am going to extrude this and remove the material so go to extrude and reverse the direction and it should be subtracted from the body click ok so now as you can see here uh, it has been removed now uh, you can see here uh, there are other holes as well so these holes and these holes i am going to do it now so go to sketch environment on this particular plane okay and here is the hole circle sorry this circle with a diameter of 20 mm as you can see here 20 mm and 15 mm over here and this distance is 67 okay so this is 20 mm and whatever between these two this it is 67 okay and from horizontal it is 15 mm okay now the fully constrained and finish the sketch 
now we have to remove this material so go to extrude and sketch here it should be in the opposite direction click ok so now as you can see here there is one more hole here with a depth of 5 mm uh, with the 12.5 mm diameter so let us draw that go to sketch and moment on this particular plane and now here the circle 12.5 diameter and with a distance of 9 mm and this distance is 9 mm okay now the sketch is fully constrained so finish the sketch and the depth is you can see here 5 mm is the depth so we can give 5 mm as an extrude so it should be opposite direction and here it is 5 mm and you can just click ok okay so now uh, you can see here um, these are the two holes uh, these are the two extrudes cutout materials we have to remove so what i will do is i'll just go to the all the dimensions are given in this view so we'll just go to sketch and moment again on this particular plane okay click ok so now there are two holes uh, as you can see here uh, two circles are there 3.5 mm radius and the distance between these two is 12 mm and i'm going to create a circles with 7 mm as a diameter and here as well and these two should be um, vertical to each other okay and these two should be symmetric as well so let us make these two as a symmetric with this axis and the distance between these two is 12 mm and now these points should lie on this line so press c and point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay so now everything is done we can finish the sketch and we have to extrude it so go to extrude and reverse the direction and click ok so now as you can see here this is how our model looks here okay and we are left with only these two circles here so you can see here uh, there are two circles with a different uh, you know distance at 11 mm and 18 mm so these two holes we are going to create it now so sketch environment on this particular plane so i'll just go to new plane and select this now the reference axis is this and the point is this okay so i'm going to create two circles so let me see the dimension you can see here 10 mm is the dimension here as well it is 10 mm so go to circles and 10 mm is the diameter two circles okay okay so now as you can see here um, this section is taken at exactly at this point so these two holes are the center of these holes are uh, existing on this line so we can draw a line here so go to line and draw this line and make this as a construction line and these two circles should be on that uh, line so press c point on a curve so this point should be on this curve uh, again this point should be on this curve okay and now as you can see here the distance is given as 11 mm and 18 mm so now uh, you can see here for this edge we for this circle we have to give 18 mm because it has to intersect with this circle so let me go to dimension hit d and from this point to this point it is 18 mm and from this point to again this edge it is 11 mm okay so these are the two circles i'll just uh, you can see one auto constraint is left because this is undefined so we can just make convert this to again parametric and we can see sketch is fully constrained now so we'll just finish the sketch so now uh, you can see here uh, these two circles one circle is going to uh, remove the material until this hole and the other circle has to uh, remove the material until this circle from the other face so we can do that by extrude go to extrude and keep it as a single curve and select this curve okay let me select this curve okay so it should be in the reverse direction and it should be until next so once you give until next it will be removed until this face okay click apply so now again uh, this circle i have to select and it should be reverse in the direction my start point will be until selected so from this point it should start you can see here it is started 
and the endpoint is not uh, you know you don't need to define it so we can give it as 50 and can just click ok so now as you can see here this hole is until this and whatever this hole is until this circle so now what are the things left I think we are done uh, all the dimensions and all the holes are completed here so this is how we can make we can just hit ctrl w and uh, switch off all the sketches and everything you can switch off and uh, switch on the only solid bodies okay so this is what the final uh, you know model we have so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below uh, i'll try to answer thank you guys